You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and we're on the Golden Coin Maker from John Adams. It says, melt, wrap, and stamp your own golden coins and medals. And, uh, looks like we got some happy kids on the box. Now, that's what it's all about. It says, ages 6 plus, and uh, we got this out of the UK. We had to go to eBay UK to find it. And here is the back. A complete workstation to melt, stamp, and wrap your own golden coins and medals. A truly magical experience that's lots of fun and really easy to use. Mold them, stamp them, wrap them, gift them, and eat them. Aha! I guess that would always be my favorite part, to eat them. And then it shows you all the steps. One, melt. Two, drop in your coin. Ooh, neat. Three, press down the lid. Four, remove your golden foil coin. Five, choose a stamp. And six, wow. Your chosen design is on both sides. Pretty neat. This looks uh, pretty exciting. And we have a lot of other chocolate coin items, so we're going to do maybe some comparisons. But let's focus on this now. Use any leading brand of chocolate buttons, which are not included, so I've got those. So this is what you're going to get. The golden coin maker, the melting unit, um, the bags. There's actually gold foil bags. Cool. Coin and metal melting bases and rings. Spreading and scribing tool for personalizing your designs. 15 pre-made golden coin and metal designs. One partly blank design, so you can personalize your own. Designed in the UK, so... It took us a while to find this one, and we're in the coins, and that's why we figured it's about time we got to this maker. And how perfect, huh? The five golden coins. So bags of stuff, and I'm always intrigued by... Ooh, there's the coin bags. Let me get this out here. Instructions. Well, that's not a good view, is it? That's better. So we'll see what I have to wash and then get a better understanding of the unit now that it's out of the box. So it looks like our foil is here. The dies are in here. All right, I need to take some things out of the bags and go over all the parts with you. We'll do that next. So here we go. Here's everything that comes with the kit. Let me just move the instructions out of the way, but there's a nice set of instructions and then let me just go over the parts here for you so this is the melter they do not want you to use a microwave they want you to use this melter you put hot water in here and melt the chocolate and then off to the left here these are the molding base and lids and then these are the red molding rings and this is all component pieces that you're going to need and then this is the molding holder so this is what we're actually going to make the coins in this here they're calling the coin embossing tray and that slides in there and then you have the embossing discs so I'll show you in detail what each has embossed on it we're ready to do that and then you have your bags and your string and then your foil in the back and then here is your little spread inscribing tool and then of course the main unit and uh, don't know anything about it just yet I know that that turns and this flips up and down and oh they're calling this the foil cutter side a storage bin and then the foiling lid. Okay, so this is where we're actually going to make the final coin. All right, there we go. So I'm going to wash it all, get a bunch of different kinds of chocolate in here, because I think I want to do some experimenting on this video for you. And we're going to make golden coins. The next step is melting the chocolate, so let's get to that. Okay, here we go. We're all set. I am going to start melting the chocolate. Um, they say use a spoon, which is not included. I just happen to have... A red spoon and then a couple of key points here uh, do not use a microwave and also uh, do not use boiling water so basically the first step they say about 12 to 13 of the John Adams chips approximately six grams now I'm using the candy like a button almost uh, like a wafer and I measured three uh, is about six grams so I'm gonna put a little bit more in just because uh, I know it's going to stick and all that to the side. So I'm going to start this process, and that's per coin. So two coins, I'm going to have to double this up, put six all together. 
But let me get this started here. I have a timer. They say it may take up to 10 minutes. Uh, my timer's off to the side, and I'm going to hit start. So now we are ticking away. See it there? And I'm just going to keep uh, mixing and checking in, and then I'll have to add the rest of the chips as I go along, okay? So I'll just uh, keep checking in. Maybe I'll just hang out here for a few, for a minute. How about that? Couple other things. Let me read here. Um, as it melts, add more chips. Around 12 to 13 chips are needed for each coin. Remove lumps and trap air by stirring gently. Okay, well, I'm not stirring yet. Right now I'm just breaking. So I'll stir gently later as it melts more. And uh, that's been just about a minute. So I'm going to check back in a few and we'll see how it progresses. All right, we're checking back in now. I just wanted to show you, I haven't added the other pieces yet. This is about two minutes. And we're pretty much completely melted. Just a few little chunks in there. So I need to get my other three melts broken up. One, and these are milk chocolate. This is a Wilton brand. Three, and then I never added my little extra bonus piece there, so. That's like, all together now, 24 chocolate chips. So, I will check back shortly. Maybe another few minutes and we'll see where we're at. Alright, here we are. I'm checking back in. I've just been slowly nurturing my chocolate to a nice, smooth consistency. And it's been uh, 5 minutes and 12, well, a little more, 17 seconds. So, it doesn't take the full 10 minutes. Next it says, uh, use a spoon, not provided, to, uh, to add the melted chocolate to the molds. After each spoonful, tap the mold to level the chocolate. Keep adding until the chocolate is level with the top of each mold. Alright. So this is the mold with the second piece here. So you're going to put your base in, then this in, and uh, you're good to go. So let's do this. Let's put this here. And then put chocolate in each one. And then tap. So we'll do that until we get the right amount here. I just want to keep adding and leveling. Looks like the melts might be a little bit more chocolate than we need than using the regular chips, but we're going to find out. Add more. Maybe not. It's very deceiving here. Now you don't want to overfill this for sure, so you got to take your time and It looks like it's level right on this edge, but the back edge is not. So let me get a little bit more in each one, and I'll try to put it near that back edge. Hmm, I'm thinking this is for a six plus year old. Might be a little detailed for that age. Not knowing exactly all the details, how long it's going to melt. So there's going to be some trial and error here. Okay, so when the chocolate is at the top of each mold, I'm not seeing, there's some air bubbles coming out right here. See one here, here, and here. So let me just tap a little bit more. When the chocolate is at the top of each mold, place a molding lid on the top of the molding ring and base and press firmly down, ensuring there are no trapped air bubbles. If you have melted 12 to 13 chips, which we didn't, there should be very little or no overflow. Okay. 
Ooh, air bubble just popped out right there. Another air bubble. There's one there. And then after this now, this is uh, step eight. Then it says, carefully remove the two coin units and leave them set for 20 to 30 minutes. Or if you're using a refrigerator, 40 minutes. It says, to ensure you can successfully stamp your chocolate coin, the chocolate must be freshly set. Do not leave them overnight as they will set too hard. I guess too, there's a lot of factors to think about. Not everybody's freezers and refrigerators are the same temperature. So I think we're close here. Let's just set one of our top pieces on and see what happens. And then press firmly, it said, to get all the air out. Okay. So there we go. And then the next one. You can kind of see it spreading right there. See that? So press firmly. All right. I think we did that. So now I need to bring these to the freezer. And then we'll get set and make another, uh, maybe we'll make white chocolate. How's that sound for the other two I have set aside? All right, here we go. My timer is running. I'm going to start now with the 12 milk, excuse me, white chocolate chips. I already did the milk. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Now what I did was I washed it, of course, and put in fresh hot water. So you know the process now. I don't need to... Well, I'll just show you a little bit of it. Hey, while I do that, maybe I can show you some of the coins, the patterns. There's a skull and crossbones, and then one that says good luck on the other side. And then we have, uh, what is that? The yin and the yang, just friends, and then champion. And then there's a Merry Christmas and a Happy Birthday. A smiley and a sunshine stars and a blank one so you can craft your own design on that and then best dad and best mum I love oi just kidding I love you and then a snowman a little Got to clean the snowman a little better oh maybe I had a little chocolate on my finger and then uh, congratulations and like a spiral. So that's all the different ones. And that goes in this piece here, which we'll have to show you later, right? So I'm gonna check back, it's only been a minute, and then I bet you another half a minute these will be melted down and I'll add more, so we'll check back in. All right, checking back in. Look, that melted pretty quick, same amount of time. So now I need to add my 12 more chips. And then I'm going to add just uh, maybe three more for stuff that sticks to the side. So I'm going to keep going here. And when I get... Uh, timer's looking like it's pretty spot on from the last one. So at five minutes, I'll probably be done. Oop, slipped out of my hand. So we'll check back in when it's all melted and we'll make two more coins, all right? All right, I'm back. There's just a few little lumps left. Uh, cleared them out. Going a little slower now that they're incorporated better. Because they didn't want you to agitate it too much, but there's just a few little spots of chip in there. So what I'm going to do now is uh, go to the molds, huh? Looks like it's good and creamy. Here we go. So now again, I have the bottom plate... And then the ring in there. Now let's do it this way. On both of them. And the covers are ready. So let me just put some in each one like I did last time. And follow the same process. Spoonful in each. And then we'll tap it down. Now these rings and the bottom pieces have a little notch in it so they can only go together one way. Let me 
Get another scoop in each one. All right. That might do it because that's pretty much all I have in chocolate. I'll have to scrape more out if I need to top either one off there. Looking good though. Oh, I got a little bit on my edge there. Lots of little air bubbles in there. Let's see if we can get a extreme air bubble close up here. How's that? Can you see that better? There's one right there, one right there. Let me just turn it around now. I might want to just get a little bit more if I can scrape it out of here on this one. And then maybe a tiny bit more on that one. That really pushed my pushed me to the pushed me to the edge on what I have here. That looks better. I'm going for that. I don't want to tip it too much, but right on that edge. Now this is only four coins so far, so I'm going to have to probably wrap the two first ones and then make another batch because, you know, it was five golden coins, right? So I think I'll make, um, I have green and red. Maybe I'll do one of those colors. Make that my... Maybe I'll make a snowman Christmas one. How's that? Okay, so there's an air bubble there. Well, maybe not. Air bubble there for sure. Okay. I think we've tapped. Now again, watch what happens. You put the ring on the top. Got some remnants on there from the last... Uh, the table and then said so gently press okay that didn't do much anything just a little bit in the center so let's see this one here Ooh, yeah that one's got it see it press through there all right maybe if I just squeeze it from up here there you go all right so that presses it all out so now I need to get these two in the freezer and the next time we check back in, we'll be making our first golden coins. Okay, I'm all set. They've come out of the freezer. This one here was a little loose, but as you can see, everything is good. Um, now, based on the steps, I have... Um, step 13 is what I'm on, and I need to get to step potentially 33, I think. So there's a lot more to go here. But the next thing is to cut the foil. So I was reading about that, and basically, let me get these out of the way. We just need two for now, so I will cut two. It's this side of the machine. You put a foil in one corner there, and then push this down and hold it. Okay, and at the same time, turn and push this dial. Let me see if you can see better this way. I'm not sure the best way to show that to you, but let me get this one cut. It says go slow, and then it cuts a perfect oil circle. See that? Okay, so now, hmm, how can I show this to you better? It's really just lighting, so let me, let me do this one more time here, and then zoom in a little, see if that helps. Not that far. <laughs> yes, the camera sometimes has a hard time on the super close-up. So that, and then, and let me see if I can just push here like this and turn this. See it in there? See it's now cut that line. I'll just do it with one hand. How's that? Pushing all the way. Now I'll lift it up. And there is my cut foil. So we're done for that. Now that is steps uh, 13, 14, 15. Now 16 is to bring back your uh, chocolate and to remove the top, let me zoom out, I just pulled one off there, and let's remove the top, which is the top, this is the top, okay, so we have a nice coin, chocolate coin in there, and then put a piece of foil in the top, 
and you want to put the gold side down it says gold side down we're on step 19 now and then I'm going to take the coin out of my holder let me just try to show this to you so now I have my chocolate coin and let me get a top-down view so we see this a little better here there's a notch you're gonna line up with here this goes in all right and then what does it say close the lid press down firmly on the foiling knob once you will hear a clunk clunk sound okay clunk clunk there we go clunk clunk Oop, don't want to... okay so I think we did that right now we're gonna flip this over ah see and put the next piece in then it says open the lid and remove the ring with the coin inside it you'll need to apply a little pressure that the coin stays in the ring the gold foil has been now wrapped around the base of the chocolate coin so now we want to stick the second one in there and do the same thing and what I'm noticing here this here is actually spreading it open so that the foil will go around and cover the edges too so there's the clunk clunk And, oh, it clunk clunk. Where's my golden coin? It got stuck in the clunk clunk part. There it is. So that is our first golden coin. I have to say, I was a little uh, unsure the first time, but I think now it's going to be fun. And it looks like it's working good. So let me cut another two here for my second one. Now another thing it did say, you could use regular household foil, so you don't have to use their golden foil. Just cut. Oh, I wish I could show you that closer. Let me try one thing here. Not going to guarantee that it's going to work, but we'll come down on a different angle here. So that's like that. Maybe it's just because it's the blue. It's hard to see and then and the gray it's dark in there and then I'll cut this way so you can see the line and that makes a nice circle so now we know how to make a coin and you get the clunk clunk and sometimes it might stick in there but you know we learn foil down and then my second coin now we'll take it out of its little holder see how nice that is that came out really smooth rich and chocolate it's almost like glass couple little air pockets there but it is our first time so here we go I don't know if we can get a better shot but let me just zoom in on that clunk clunk here we go Ooh, that clunk clunk didn't clink clink oh there you go okay need a little more pressure we hold this down. Now you don't want your chocolate to come out of the ring like that, so I'm going to pinch it. There we go. It's still okay. See? And then put my second gold one in there. Put this back down. And then do my push down. I'm going to hold it this time. There you go. It doesn't want to pop up. That's not cool. Let me just tip it over. See if I can knock it out gently. No. So let me get my picking tool and see what happened. Let me clunk clunk it down again. And... No. All right. Well, I think you get it. I could probably work it. Oh, wait. Let's see. Maybe if I spin this back. No. Oh, a little bit. That helped a little. Came off this edge just a little. It could be too that maybe my coin is getting, my chocolate got too soft because of the heat here. Let's try the, well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get it out and then I'll check back in and show it to you. How's that? Okay, it looked worse than it was. I actually just tipped it on the edge and gave it one little tap and it did come out. So all that drama for naught. I just didn't want to ruin anything or break anything. So now I have my two coins. And now it's time to 
put the shape on them or the design. So that's now up to step 23, 24, all the way up to step 26. Now we need to get to step 26 where it says pick out your designs. And then we need this tray here. Well, I wonder if I was supposed to have that tray in all the time. It didn't say, but we'll see. Now I think you put the spacers back on there. So there's our one coin. There's our number two coin. All right. And then you put, uh, let's see, we'll put the snowman up. There's a little notch right here. Looks like that lines up with that. And then put your coin in because it's got to fit in there. And then a second design. Now, there was a Merry Christmas somewhere, so we'll do that once I find it. Happy birthday, Merry Christmas. So we'll put that one down next. And then you stick it in the chamber here. Now here's where it says, okay, so that's all done. That was up to step 29. Now step 30, wind the yellow handle clockwise until it has clicked six times. All right. Okay, I don't hear a click yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then unwind counterclockwise. So this pulls out, and we'll check to see how that first shape came out. Ooh, look at that. Merry Christmas. Now the other side, the snowman. I see. All right. A little rough on the edge there, but, uh, you know, I think we can work with that. So that is the first golden coin. So let's do that again. I think we're getting it now. You know, this is the first time, so... Practice, practice, practice. We'll put the blank one in. Because they said you can do something with the blank one. We'll catch that. And then, uh, how about, I love you. Okay. Let's put this down. And then the I love you down this way. Oh, that was on the other side of the snowman. And stick it in the machine there. And six times. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Oh, then unwind. Two, three, four. And we have, and I love you there. Not as pressed as I would like. And then the blank side. So it's still working. Maybe you could have wound it a few more times. And then this side, they say you can use your scribing tool now. Describe something on there. So I'm going to make my first LPS L P S coin. Look at that. Pretty neat. And we'll give it an underline like that. Lucky Penny Shop. Now I have more coins to show you, and I want to mix up another batch of colors. So I have to. Uh, let me do this. Let me uh, mix up another batch for you. I think I'll do green, and then uh, I'll get the white chocolate and do those real quick and show you those going, okay? All right, so I am going to do now the green candy button. So I washed it and uh, put super hot water in there. So there's one, two, and again, I won't show you this whole mixing process. It's, uh, you know, it's not needed. Ooh, let me get my spoon. I was using my scribe there. Alright, so there you go. We've got the process started. So I will keep checking back like last time. Takes me about five minutes in real time, but be much quicker for you. So we'll check back shortly. Alright, so I'm going to break a few more. It's progressing just like the other ones. And, uh, well, actually I need to break three more. And then one extra, like I did last time. So I'm going to finish mixing here. And then as it gets softer, I'll check back in when it's all ready to go. Okay, so now you've seen me mix chocolate, white chocolate, and now green. Cool. Can't wait to make more for you. Check back shortly. And get it all set. 
put the outer shell in and then the inner one again there's little notches on here so only one way this can go together and then tamp remember spoonful of each and then tamp it in to get the air bubbles out so here we go spoonful at a time sorry Now, I was thinking about this set and all the steps and the processes. I don't know. I think for a six-year-old, they're going to definitely need some adult help. As you can tell, I had one stuck coin, so you might run into those little issues. It was very fixable, but I'm not sure something right off the bat that they'd easily understand. Let's put in another scoop. But they might. I don't know. So what I might do after this is uh, the white ones. I have the white coins to show you. Oh, it almost looks like there's a little too much in that one. So I'm just going to try to scrape out just a little. And then tamp it back down. Hopefully it returns in shape. There it goes. Nice. So I'm going to keep tamping. Then I'll put the lids on, freeze them and come back with the white chocolate ones and we'll make those and then I'll have to come back with the green ones I guess there's no other way to really do it unless you had uh, eight coin molds would have been nice to get extra rings and molds I think that to me would be a major bonus with the set is to be able to buy extra ones so you can just make a whole bunch and freeze them and make them Okay. I might try regular foil. They said that should work, so maybe I'll do that next just to test that that theory. If they say it works, well, we need to try it. Okay, so I haven't seen many air bubbles come out. Been tamping and tamping. So I'm gonna put my lids on. And push down. Oh, that's a nice one, see? And then put the lid on this one push down gently. It says forcefully in the other one, but ooh, not as good on that one, see? So maybe it does need a little bit more. I'm going to do it anyway. Just put a little dollop in there. I know that's going to press it out better. See that? Okay, so now off to the freezer and back to the white chocolate ones. Okay, here we go. I'm all set. I have a piece of aluminum foil. Now, I noticed mine was a little thinner than what they have in their gold. So, we'll just try it anyway. So, this just goes in here. Remember, push this down. Okay. And then cut it slowly by pushing. Looks like it's working just the same. Okay, so there is one golden piece. I mean, silver piece. There is two. So that's good. I think I'm going to bring back in the gold. So I need, you know, five golden coins. So it's a little thicker than that. Now you can buy different types of regular aluminum foil. I just happen to have, I don't know, maybe it was a cheap Aldi brand or something. Ooh, I didn't cut all the way through. There we go. So there's two, there's three, and then here is number four. I'm trying to do it with one hand too so you can see the process. There you go. Okay, so shapes now. We've done the snowman. We've done Merry Christmas. Let's do, we've done the blank. How about stars? Oh wait, I'm jumping the gun. I'm getting my stuff ready. Let's get the coins out, huh? And make those real quick. You kind of get a, a system and a feel for it, as you can tell. I'm jumping the gun. Remember the coins now, you got to take them out of the main unit. Okay. And then we'll put 
gold facing down, then the coin. All right, remember that? And there's still some chocolate on there. And now we're going to push down, and it's going to do the ka chunk chunk. Now you don't want to lose it out of the piece here. Then you pull it out, reposition this on it. Okay, so now that's nicely put back into place. And then the second ka chunk chunk, ka chunk chunk, ka chunk chunk, here we go. Didn't get stuck that time. So now we have our first coin. There it is. In white chocolate. So now let's take the second cover off. Oop, didn't want that to happen. That one has a lot of air holes in it, but that's just the way it works out. Now we're going to try to make a silver coin. Don't know how it's going to work with the thinner foil, but, you know, here we go. Holding it, turning it, hmm, looks like it's okay. Do this now, put this back in, here we go. And not bad. So now let's shape them. So we take out this tray. Got all my foil junk in the back. And then I'm going to do stars going up. And I'm going to turn it a few more times to see if we get a better shape or design on it. Oop, that popped out. Do that again. Get out some of that broken chocolate there. There we go. Squeeze and drop. All right. And let's see. Best mum. Let's do best mum. Stick it in. And again here, I think I'm going to turn it a few more times because those last few didn't press that great. So here it's going down. One, two, three, four, five, Six. This time I did six revolutions. And let's see. Eh, still pretty much the same. So I think that's it. That's what we gotta gotta work with. There is the stars. I mean the shapes are there. How about I go even more turns? Let's do I don't want the skull and crossbones. Come on, it's a happy season here. And then this, so I got that one set up. I put the um, good luck in there. All right, and let's do a smiley face, yeah. Put that in there. And here we go. So we're gonna turn it again. You do feel it getting tighter, and then all of a sudden it gets to that point, that clicking point. Get about 13 clicks there, I think. So now we'll unloosen it. Pop it out. There's Smiley. There's Smiley. And the other side is the good luck. So I'm going to say the foil, the regular foil, the lighter foil didn't work as well. But we do now have two more coins. See? So what I need to do now is finish the green. And then we'll check them all out. So we'll check back in another second. I am back. So I saved you the time of actually cutting the foil. I've got that set to go. And I have my green coins ready. One of the caps almost came off there. It actually did. And then they look really nice. So here we go. They move my other coins. I have them in the background ready to go. I think I'm going to do... Uh, let me see. Well, I always want to do the shape first. Let me get my gold piece in. Okay. And let me get my first coin ready. There you go. I think you're familiar with this process. Okay. 
I think when there's what I've noticed now I think is when there's a little extra chocolate on that rim is when it has a hard time and it sticks sometimes so you know I guess practice makes perfect doesn't it here we go there we go came out real nice this one came out really good and then let's get the last one here I think overall it's going to be pretty fun. There's going to be some, uh, oh wait, did I get my, yeah. yeah, that's in there. Sorry, I'm talking and not paying attention. So here we go. So what you would call, like that, growing curves, like don't do that, don't stick in there. There you go. I just think if there's little pieces of chocolate, it's such a tight seal around there that things can get stuck. So I, I actually wiped it down the first, uh, after each use. There's like a spring activated mechanism in here. See that? All right, last one. You know what? Everybody's going to say, well, why didn't you do one side silver, one side gold? Okay, I think I'm going to do that. Thanks for the idea, everybody. Okay. Stuck again. Now last time, I just took it like this, and I tapped it. Let's see. There you go. See, pops out. So that's one side silver, one side gold. Oop, sorry. And that now needs to be molded with the shape and design. So let's put um, a champion up. Didn't match up just right. Got to get that little pin just right. Champion up. Coin in. And then uh, I'm going to try to get a better Merry Christmas on this one. Now I was looking at this in a little more detail on the turning part. And I'm not seeing that it after a certain point it doesn't really go any further down. So... So is that six or is that six? I don't know. It's not really, it's the same amount of pressure. So this is not really doing anything. At least that's what I've observed. I almost think that it might be better to just put some weight on it and press down because I'm not getting a full seal every time. So let's put that in the back. And then uh, we've done the snowman. I think we've done the smiley. So let's do a uh, happy birthday. Anybody's birthday out there? Well, if it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. And then this sun. So we'll put that in there. Okay. I guess I'm excited that we've gotten this far. So a lot of lot going on here. It's a big process. It's a major learning curve for me. And this time, I'm going to put my own pressure. Ooh, that one came out a little better. See that? And there we go. So I have now my five golden coins. And I have some white ones and green ones. Let's get them all in here. And now I need to put them in my coin bag. Okay. Ooh, that's a silver and gold. We don't want that in there. There we go. So now I have my coin bag, and then they give you this little string to tie it with. Kind of a lot, but we'll just tie it on there and then cut it. You probably could make a nice little tag, too. There you go. Make a nice little bow. How's that? No tag. So there, I have my golden coins. Now if you want to see a real, I have some off here, a store-bought version of coins. Here are coins coming up. They're called snowflake coins in another video. And if you want to see something really out of this world, check out this coin. This is Chocolate USA Liberty. Check it out. Thick chocolate. So that's also coming up in another video. 
just wanted to let you know later today you're going to see more coin stuff. So let me, uh, let me open up one of these. This is the silver and the gold. And it should just open up like a regular coin, which it does. And you take off your outer layer and take a bite. Oh, and look, the shape is on the chocolate a little bit too. Hmm. Sweet. Here's the white chocolate with the smiley face. Hmm. I like white chocolate. Ooh, another white chocolate. Oh well. I was hoping to get a dark chocolate. But I think you get it now. Let's get that all the way. That is our five golden coins in the John Adams Golden Coin Maker. And overall, I'm pretty happy with it. As you can see, I ran through a little a few things here and there, but we overcame and conquered and got through the video. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Check the description. Search the channel. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.